how vulnerable are we on the on the other side, the bad actors and using Gen AI? Well, we're seeing it now. In fact, I was with a uh, with a customer today uh, who we were talking about. You know, we had stopped an attack, but they they did some investigation as well, and it was uh, Gen AI related. So we're starting to see, um, again, this being pushed down into the masses. How does that work? What does that mean? Well, part, part of what, if, you, if we think about the adversaries and the way CrowdStrike looks at them is we break them into three different groups. We've got nation state. You can think about of a pyramid, right? Top of the pyramid is nation state. The middle of the pyramid is e-crime and the bottom is hacktivism. Um, what we've seen is that a lot of these very esoteric techniques that are developed by governments or nation states trickle down into the e-crime groups. Well, now with Gen AI, you're multiplying by a huge factor how many new adversaries can come into that universe because you don't have to be an expert. You literally can leverage a Gen AI technology to help you understand how to uh, implement an attack, how to craft, craft phishing emails. And once you're in a system, even if you don't know what you're doing, you can actually have scripts being created by Gen AI that will actually exploit the system. So you're going to see a, a huge proliferation of adversaries 